There are more people in slavery today than ever before in human history. It is not just an international problem, but one that is also happening locally in our community. Hi, I'm Ricky Barton with Community Partnership of the Ozarks, here to talk to you about human trafficking. We'll define human trafficking, learn how to identify the warning signs, discuss what to do if you suspect it might be occurring, and share how you can help put an end to this practice. There are two forms of human trafficking, labor trafficking and sex trafficking. The definition for these two forms are found in the Trafficking Victims Protection Act of 2000, which is the first comprehensive federal law to protect against human trafficking. The act defines labor trafficking as the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for labor services through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of subjecting them to involuntary servitude, debt bondage, or slavery. The act defines sex trafficking as the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, obtaining, patronizing, or soliciting of a person for the purposes of a commercial sex act in which that act is induced by force, fraud, or coercion, or in which the person induced to perform such an act is under the age of 18 years. In other words, if an adult is in prostitution by force, fraud, or coercion, that individual is actually a victim of sex trafficking, according to the federal law. Additionally, if anyone under the age of 18 is involved in commercial sex where they are being compensated with food, shelter, clothing, money, or anything with monetary value, they are a victim of sex trafficking and there is no burden to prove force, fraud, or coercion. According to federal law, there is no such thing as a child or adolescent prostitute. Anyone, adult or child, could become a victim of human trafficking, but there are certain risk factors that put someone at higher risk. These include having a history of abuse, neglect or malnourishment, a history of running away or being homeless, low self-esteem, family conflict, and social isolation. Additionally, the younger a person is, the more vulnerable they are to the tactics traffickers use. While no single risk factor causes a person to become a victim, risk factors do increase the individual's vulnerability and should be considered when looking for warning signs. There is no doubt that human trafficking happens in the United States and in our communities. The National Human Trafficking Hotline is operated by Polaris, a nonprofit, non governmental organization fighting to eradicate modern slavery. The hotline reports show victims have been identified in cities, suburbs, and rural areas in all 50 states and in Washington, D.C. Given this information, it is vital to be aware of the numerous warning signs of a trafficking situation in order to identify and report any suspicions. A trafficking victim may avoid eye contact, be resistant to touch, show signs of physical abuse, be branded or tattooed, have few personal items of their own, or suddenly possess items they cannot afford, appear to lack medical care, have unexplained absences, become academically disengaged, have a boyfriend or girlfriend significantly older than them, lack identification or legal documents, possess sexual knowledge beyond what is normal for their age, use terms such as daddy, John, trick, or the life, be subject to constant supervision by a controlling partner, or be unaware of their current location. If you suspect you might be witnessing an incident of human trafficking, never confront the victim or trafficker directly. Doing so puts yourself and the victim at risk. Instead, contact local law enforcement to notify them. Chief Paul Williams with Springfield Police Department affirms the need to notify local law enforcement of any suspicious activity. If human trafficking is taking place in the community, law enforcement cannot act or address it unless community members report it. So if you see something, say something. 
In addition to contacting law enforcement, it is also important to call the National Human Trafficking Resource Center at 888-3737-888 to report what you're seeing and connect with a service provider in your area. I encourage you to save this number in your phone's contacts right away. Your call could rescue a victim and save a life. There are local coalitions working to mobilize the community to end human trafficking in the Ozarks. If you are interested in getting involved in human trafficking prevention, contact Community Partnership at 417-888-2020 or visit the web address on your screen. And thanks for watching our Helping Everyone Learn Prevention video series.